Hello, this is Agork. Welcome to Stranded Deep, episode two, how to survive and even thrive in Stranded Deep. In episode one, I showed you the right way to start a game, how to get settled on an island, how to build the main structures you need to survive, how to get food, how to get water, etc. And it was all good. It was almost too easy, though. So what I thought I'd do in this episode is go the opposite way. A typical new player to this game has no clue what they're doing, and they'll run into many different problems. One problem gets compounded by another problem, and yeah, it just goes from bad to worse. So I'm going to go in and on purpose suck badly. I'm going to make myself sick. I'm going to get sunstroke. I'm going to get poisoned and, and injured, and I'm going to try and make it as miserable as I can. Even when I know what I have to do, I'm going to be struggling to survive. So hopefully this will be interesting and fun and will teach you at least how to deal with different situations. So I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how it's going to go. Let's go. All right, so we have started the game. And first thing we do is look at our watch. Oh, and look at that. We are in the month of July. The UV is very high, and this is exactly what I was looking for. Hello, Mr. Shark. All right, this is like deja vu. We're on the same island. We've started all over again. Now, we have absolutely nothing on us, so we're going to do the usual run around, grab stuff. And I'm not going to make you walk, watch me do this, because I did this in the last episode. So I'm going to just click forward here until I have built a shelter. Okay, so I have built myself a shelter. Now, if we look at our watch, it's the 10th of July. The UV is very high. It's 39.9 degrees Celsius, which is just stinking hot, because it's close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're still fully healthy, because we just got here. So, yeah, what I wanted to do is make this as difficult as possible. So I've spawned in during a summer month, and the reason I'm doing that is because the UV is really high, and you'll have to deal with things like sunstroke and whatnot. And because we've been here on the island maybe uh, maybe not even an hour yet, okay, so then <laughs> right on cue, we have sunstroke. All right, so this is typically what happens to a new player, is that They'll come in during the month of July or summer month and they get sunstroke and they don't know what to do. And it just makes your life more difficult. And I'm going to just run around a bit and pick up sticks and rocks because that's just typically something that a new player would do. Now, a new player doesn't really understand how uh, fibrous leaves in a water still and all that works, so I'm just going to ignore that for now. You have sunstroke. Ooh, your food and water is going down pretty rapidly. So, what do you do? Well, Geez, we need to get us a uh, some coconuts here. Hold space to climb. So you might want to uh, grab a coconut or two. How do you get that thing? Let's see, we j accidentally jumped out of the tree, but we survived, so that's all right. So we've got a couple of coconuts. Let's grab another one. Oh, we're getting really thirsty. So let's let's drink these. Where can I put these down that they're not going to roll away on? Let's just do it right up here. All right, so we have an axe and we have a knife. Now, a new player would probably only have a knife. They're not likely to have built an axe yet. So let's take these three coconuts. And we're, we're thirsty, so we're going to drink them. Alright, so we've just made things worse. <laughs> We're now down four water, four food. We have diarrhea and sunstroke. So what else could go wrong? Well, my god. Uh, let's get some more coconuts, because we're really thirsty. Let's climb this baby. Get us some more coconuts. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there's one. Grab it. Grab it. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> okay. I'm... Standing in a tree. I didn't know you could even do that. Help. Alright, that's not quite what I wanted to do. 
<laughs> what I wanted to do is actually uh, have him fall out of the tree and land on the ground. So let's try that again. Because I'm trying to make this as difficult as possible, right? So let's climb all the way up here and then jump <laughs> out and injure ourselves. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, what do we got? Dehydration now and diarrhea and sunstroke. All right. Let's try this again. Come on. Hold on. Climb. Now, I don't know if this tree is maybe not quite tall enough. This looks like a really tall one. I'm going to go all the way up here. And... Uh. All right. He doesn't want to break his leg, apparently. Let's try this. We'll grab some more coconuts. Oh, my God. It's so difficult to climb these trees. They really do want to uh, make you jump. Oh, this one looks tall. This should do it. All right, get, get, let's grab that coconut. Oh, yeah. All right, we got the coconut. Ah, oh. Man, this guy's resilient. But we're almost dying. All right. <laughs> so, what do we do? Ah, we're dying. All right, so... All I can see in a situation like this is where you, you don't have a water still. You have no clue how to build a water still. You're, you're completely uh, getting down to almost death here. So what do you do? Remember your raft. Remember the storage area of your raft. You have rations. Use them. First things first. Let's go in the water and cool off. And avoid the spiky starfish, of course. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just poison ourselves. What? Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so we are now poisoned as well. Are we going to survive? He's not feeling well. He's dehydrated. He has poisoning and dehydration. All right, all I can say is take some rations. This will increase your food and water. And if you get them all the way up to full again, your health should improve. Now we're down four bars of health on our health bar. And all we have now is poisoning. So we've managed, simply by taking rations and cooling off in the water, we've managed to solve two of the problems at least. We no longer have diarrhea. And you know what? Let's, let's just make this even worse. I'm going to eat two coconuts. And normally this is not something I would recommend you do. Because coconuts, if you, cons if you drink more than two coconuts in a row, or if you eat more than two halves of a coconut in a row, you're going to give yourself diarrhea. Just like that. And I'll just take one more. That was a nice moist one. All right, so... <laughs> We have poisoning and diarrhea again, and now we need water again. So it's like, ah, more water. Now, because we're a new player, and we don't know how to make a water still, we're going to just take two more coconuts and drink them. And we're going to hope that this doesn't poison us even more, or make us even worse diarrhea. Okay, so we drank two coconuts. It did absolutely nothing for our water. We're going to take our last... Ration. We're now full food, full water again, but we're poisoned. So what can we do if we're poisoned? Well, really there's not much you can do if you don't have an antidote to the poisoning. Now to find an added antidote, you have to look at your, uh, sorry, crafting menu. Under consumables, you can find the antidote down here. And an antidote is made with two Pippi plants, or PP plants. Coconut flask is no problem, but Pippi plants. Now, I know, just from being on this island for the first episode, is that there are no Pippi plants on this island, so I cannot build myself an antidote. So the only option we have is to go to another island in order to get rid of this poisoning. Now, I'm just trying to keep myself cool here. I have diarrhea and poisoning. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's see if we can kill a crab here. Aha! Gotcha. Oh, and we've been bitten by a crab a couple of times. Now, luckily, crabs biting you don't do any damage, so... Alright, just... 
chill, dude. I got it. I got it. All right, so I got two of those. Uh, do I have enough wood for a campfire? Yes, I think we do. So let's build our campfire. And I want to put the fire pit around it. And we need kindling. Kindling. We don't have any sticks. Okay, we have a log there we can chop up. But we're going to pretend that we don't have an axe, even though we do. A stick there. A stick there. I can make kindling. While I'm running, hey, I'm talented. Alright, let's light this baby up. Alright, so... We then drop the crabs. We try and cook them over the fire like this because we don't know what we're doing and nothing happens. Other than he looks kind of relaxed there, doesn't he? He's just chilling on the fire. If you can say chilling on a fire, which I don't think you can. All right, let's let's just say we figured out that you have to skin him. Because it does actually say that in the top oh, left of the screen. <laughs> Alright, so let's take that piece of meat and hold E to do that. And we'll take the crab and we'll figure that we can skin him. So let's do it. And it wants us to craft a hammer for some reason. Oh, so we tried to attach him to the fire, but we accidentally extinguished the fire. I have seen that happen so many times to, to new players. And you can't blame them for trying, because it says to, you know, use E to attach to the fire, but it's also the E button that extinguishes the fire. So again, that's a typical problem that you'll run into. You can only attach one piece of meat to the fire at a time. So what are we, what's the situation? We're poisoned. Our health is really low. We have food. Our water is just deteriorating like a ra rapidly. We've eaten all of our rations. And this is, this is typically what happens to a new player, is it? It, it just is an impossible situation, one thing on top of the other, and with no cure in sight for the poisoning. And if you don't have a water still, it's like, well, what do we do? You, you can eat so many coconuts, but then you're going to give yourself diarrhea, which basically sucks all that water right back out of you. It's a never-ending cycle, and it, it's a nasty uh, cycle. Desperation means that we have to try and drink some coconuts. And now, we don't have, are we still dehydrated? I don't think we're dehydrated anymore, dehydrated. No, we're not dehydrated, so we should be able to drink this now. And not have any problem with it. And it should actually help our food, our water situation, yeah. All right, so what I can suggest you do, if you're in a situation like this and you don't have the resources or you can't remember how to build a water still, maximum two coconuts at a time for drinking. Maximum one coconut at a time if you're going to eat it. And all you have to do is kind of mix it in between with another piece of food. So our food is actually at full health, so we don't even really need to worry about that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to grab one more coconut and see if I can let's Oh, okay, I can, I can jump and actually get these guys. Alright. So, we just drank two coconuts. Now, I'm going to try a little experiment here. I've, I've let a, a minute or so go by. And if we get two more coconuts, which are rolling away on me, take this one and this one. Now, I know if I drink this right now, I'm going to get diarrhea. So, let's take a piece of food. Now, one other thing you have to be careful of is in, in your hand you have two pieces of meat. So that's the cooked one on the ground. So the one in my hand is actually raw. So I'm going to attach that one to the fire. So if I eat this piece of meat, I should be able to drink both of these now without getting diarrhea again. Yeah, so that works. And now I'm only down one water. And while I wait for that piece of meat to cook, I can grab myself another coconut. Okay, so I found two more coconuts. And I think these are the last coconuts on the island. And we have a quick piece of 
of meat. So I'm going to eat the piece of meat, and then I'm going to drink these two coconuts. Alright, so we've got our food and our water up to full health, but we're down to only two bars of health. So that's bad. So what we're going to do, this is kind of a dire situation, so what I'm going to do is paddle over to another island. I need to find a cure. So let's run to the raft, jump in, and we're going to go to another island. Alright, so we're pulling into our new island. You can see the big rock formations in the center here. This tells you that this is a large island. Now, important to know that it's a large island because large islands spawn with two snakes and two boars. So there are snakes on this island. Now my watch keeps beeping at me, telling me that I'm low on health and I have poisoning. It's 2.25 in the morning. What we need to do is maybe grab a crab while I'm at it, seeing as he's here. We need to find us some pippy plants. Uh, and this little point of land here looks nice. I'll build whatever set up base right here. Because, well, why not, eh? Let's drop that. Let's make sure we have room in our... Oh, I even brought a palm frond, so that was a smart thing to do. Not that I did it on purpose, but we'll just pretend I did. Okay. Oh, and hey, right there, we have a pippy plant. Hard to see it. It's a little grows in a little cluster of bushes like this, very low to the ground, usually on the edge of the sand and where the grass starts. And often they'll grow in a in a grouping of two. So if you find one, hopefully we'll find another one right near. And there we go, right nearby. So two pippy plants, kaboom, we're good to go. <sighs> and we actually have three. Wow, that's fantastic. Three pippy plants. All right, so we need to build us a uh, antidote. And I have to remember that there's snakes on this island, so I'm going to throw caution a little bit to the wind here because I really need... Oh, and if you can hear that snake, <laughs> uh, we have a snake somewhere around here. And when it's dark like this, and you're up in a grassy area like this, there's no way you're going to find the snake. You, you just don't have a hope of getting him. Oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to drink this. Now, I have full, full food and full water. And I know that if I make an antidote and I take it, I will get rid of the poisoning. But the problem is, is that there's two snakes on this island. And snakes are just nasty. Like, they are tricky. They can surprise you when you're running around. They hide in the grass. Their camouflage is amazing. And they can bite you uh, and poison you again. So I'm, I'm hesitant to heal myself with the antidote and then get bitten again, which will just make me poisoned again. And I know that I've, I've already found three pippy plants, and there's no way that there's going to be four on this island. So... I'm going to be a pippy plant short of being able to make another antidote. So I can either build myself a farming plot and take two days to grow it, or I have to go to another island and find another pippy plant, which is also doable. Ah, <sighs> what to do, what to do, what time is it? It's uh, 4.30. Okay, it's going to be light in about an hour and a half. Once it's light, I, ha I shouldn't have a problem killing the snakes. So I still have two full health. Okay. I think I think I can risk it. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'll wait, I'll go off camera again, and I'll just build myself a shelter, and a uh, maybe a fire pit again, and I'll be back. All right. So it's morning and 7 a.m. We're down to one bar of health. We have food and water, not too bad. But if we don't get that poison taken care of, we're going to die. I don't think I can risk not using the pippy plants. So I'm going to craft myself a antidote using the pippy plants. So I... Ah. Oh, Jesus. That scared the crap out of me. Stupid crap. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> I thought it was a snake. Now, luck luckily, crabs don't actually hurt you, so... Whew. All right, I thought it was a dead dead man there. All right, so I need to uh, build myself a lashing. And then I need to build myself a coconut flask. And then I need to go and build myself an antidote. Two pippy plants and a coconut flask. So I've done that, and now I can consume this, and see my arm is blotchy and poisoned, and my status is poisoning. Antidote! Oh, look at that. It's a miracle cure. My arm looks fantastic, and I have no poisoning. Woohoo! I need one food and two water, and then we can get our health bar back up. All right, so now that we have healed our poisoning, the next thing we want to worry about is Sunstroke. And with this game, there is something called an Aloe Salve. Now, Aloe Salve is, is really important, especially during a, a summer month like July, which is what we're in here. And you have to know how to use this correctly. A lot of people are not aware of how to use this and they think it's glitched. And it isn't really. So what we need to do is find us some aloe plants. And there's one right here. And I can hear the snake somewhere. So we're going to just back away for now. We'll come back to the snakes a little bit later. And we have another aloe plant over here. And we're going to take him as well. And I might as well grab a few fibrous leaves, because we will need them to make lashings. And we're going to need a couple of lashings, so I'm going to need another couple of fibrous leaves if I can find them. Oh, really? All right. Okay. So what are we at for, for health? One food, two water. We're down. All right. Now, you have to be careful when you're running around an island like this. Because when you run, it reduces the amount of reaction time you have. Is you, a snake will give a warning when it's close by or when you come close to it. But if you're running like I am, and I tend to run everywhere, um, you're not going to have a lot of time to react. So that's important to know. So when you run through, especially uh, grassy areas, it uh, might be wise to slow down a bit. On open beach like this, it's not so bad. You can see for quite a ways, and you can see if there's a snake. Um, but, but once you're in the grassy areas, yeah, I'd, I'd really be careful of that. Okay, so let's just drop some of this stuff. And put these over here, and we'll put our water still there. Uh, we've got one pippy plant. We'll just drop that for now. A couple of rocks. Palm frond. We'll need that. All right. So I need to make a lashing. And I need another coconut. So let's try not to uh, surprise a snake. And let's grab a coconut. Do the old spear trick. And grab ourselves. Oh no, where'd my spear go? I saw the spear glitch out there, but I have no idea where it went. Oh well, my spear is uh, vanished on me. Alright. So let's build our coconut flask. And we have the two aloe vera plants on us, so we can craft an aloe salve. All right, now, an aloe salve. We have to look at the temperature here. We have to look at how we're doing. And the key to using an aloe salve is to use it before you get sunstroke. So right now, I do not have sunstroke, so I'm going to take just some al need. aloe salve. And my character says, just what I need. So if we now look at our arm, it's got a white milky substance all over it, and that is the yellow. So basically, we now have sunblock for the entire day. And I can just plunk that down there and use it again tomorrow. 
the exact same way. So now the rest of today, I'm not going to have to worry about getting sunstroke. Now, a lot of people don't realize that. So they'll wait until they get sunstroke and then they'll use the aloe salve, but that actually consumes the entire aloe salve. And then you no longer have it. It's gone. So then you have to find new aloe plants and craft a new aloe cell. So the key to using it is to take it before you get sunstroke. And even if you get sunstroke, don't panic, don't consume it. Just go in the water and stay in the water for 10 to 15 seconds until the status on your survival watch says that you no longer have sunstroke and then take the aloe cell and you'll be good to go. All right, so that's it for episode two. We got sunstroke, we had diarrhea twice, we took some fall damage by <clears throat> falling out of tall trees, we got poisoned, and we basically drank all the coconuts on our main island. So we had to travel to a new island, a large island, the one we're on now, we found some pippy plants, we found some aloe vera, we cured our poisoning, we learned how to use the aloe salve, and yeah, it was a good day. It was exciting. So in future episodes, we still haven't explored any wrecks. We still haven't taken care of the snakes on the island. We have two boars that we can also hunt. So we have a few things we can do. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, and I hope it was entertaining. Bye for now.